Hello guys, welcome back. This is Origins, episode 10 of Feed the Beast. And today, um, I'm going to start out by making 32 advanced panels. I'm going to take a ton of materials, but I've looked and I've looked and i found what I think is the cheapest way. It looks to be the cheapest way. But yep, I need to make those. And uh, what I'm going to do is... Probably, let's see, I'll put something there. Oh, and by the way, these are all going for the Matter Fabricator, all 32 of them. So I'll put them there, and then probably start going up right here, and then probably connect cabling on top of this. And then the same thing on this side, put them right up here. And that's probably how they will all go. So I'm going to get started on that. Um, what I'm going to do first is because I figured out all the materials I need for all the advanced. So I figured out how many of these, of these, and these, just not the solar panel. The solar panel I will do after, but I'm going to get all the materials together for the solar panels, which will take quite a bit. And uh, as you'll see right here, I'm cooking up a bunch of stone. Um, reason cooking this up is for the mob farm, which I'm going to start building after this, which I'll probably build that, probably, whoops, I didn't really want that, that's right, um, I'll probably start building it today, the only problem is I will not finish, because it is a big project very big um, I'll show you what I'm gonna do is I went on creative mode and I basically made it the only thing I didn't do is mess with the wireless redstone but I'm gonna make it a it's gonna be 37 in diameter and it's gonna be a circle I'm just gonna put it right here gonna try and line it up so that the circle goes like right here kind of where that silverwood tree is so it kind of lines up with a honeycomb right here whoop don't want to be down there but it would probably be like right here so maybe a couple blocks that way that way but yeah i'm going to get all the materials for 32 advanced solar panels i'll get everything except the solar panels themselves and then i'll show you that and uh we'll go on from there be right back. And we're back here. Um, here we go. This is the last piece of silicon I need. So we got three silicon plates there. I'm just going to put these cells back in the electrolyzer. And here we go. Here is 32 solar panels. Nice. And 32 advanced solar panels. Awesome. Oh. I hate doors sometimes. Seems like obsidian pressure plates don't even don't give it as long a signal, or I just can't make it through doors. But that's what it seems like. So here we go. I've done the math. 32, and each one outputs at. 32 EU during the day. Wait, that's max output. It's only generating 8. Okay, whatever. I, maybe I was wrong. Wait. Yeah, so that only generates 64, so... Yeah, I've been doing my math wrong. Okay. Well, let's put these all here anyways going to need a ton of solar panels. And what does that need to connect right there? Because it does? I don't know. What is it? Hmm. Oh yeah, I guess it, it kind of does, doesn't it? Alright, well I got 23. 
Um, bam. Now, if I do... Oh, wait, you know what? That's not going to be able to connect to anything. I just realized that. Which means that... That needs to go. There we go. Get that back. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, what do you know? Perfect number, eh? Well, it's going to be perfect. And one more. And then. Let's see. You got to go. Oh, yeah, when you're on top, I get, you have to shift-click, I guess. Kind of a little flaw. All right, let's get all that energy going in. Here we go. Goodness, and I'm laggy again today, so I'm sorry about that. Hmm, how about here? Can I still get in? Oh no, I can't get it in, in there anymore. Can I remove this though? That is the question. Hmm, nope. Wait, <laughs> oh, I guess. If I ever need to, I can. And now let's check on that. Oh, it's nighttime. And Matt's on, so I can't. Dang it! Well, at least I got it up, so this thing should be running fairly well now. Um. And now I get to. Let's see. Wrong one. Everything back right there. Grab the rest of that stone I smelted up. Um, I'll show you this. Making a bunch more scrap as well. Yeah, that would be wonderful. And uh oh, that does not go in there. Oh yeah, I made this uh, grafter. I'm not sure if it cuts down silverwood trees, but if it does, that would be pretty awesome. Alright, well, I'm going to do this, and uh, I'm going to get these all into stone bricks. And once I have them all into stone bricks, I'm going to start laying out uh, where the mob trap will be. So I'll be back when I can start laying that out. All right, um, here we are. Uh, I've started laying it out. As you can see, I can't move the mouse, but you can see the circle right above the honeycomb. That's where it's going to be. Nice looking shape right there. But I just came back here to check because it finally stopped raining and uh, I could sleep. And here you go. Look at this. This light is constant. You know what that means? That it's running without stopping. I don't know if it's at full speed or not because you can see it in the chat. Well, it's outputting exactly what's going on. It's not moving at all. Let's go and check this out. Yep. Yeah, so that's outputting as fast as it can go. That's outputting that's going. So all the power is being used. And this is going fairly quick, let's see. I'm gonna time it as soon as it goes up and everything. Stopwatch. And as soon as it goes up, let's see. Dun 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 d
Alright, there we go. I'm just really sorry if you guys cannot hear me. I just realized that my uh, my mic was upwards and not by my mouth. So, I'm sorry for that part being quiet. But, uh, I was just showing the solar panels that I got. And it looks like the light is constant now. So, what I'm doing right now is I am top timing how long it takes to go up 3%. And then I can figure out from that how long it takes to make one UU matter. So that bar is acting weird, but that's a problem because of Optifine. So I'm sorry if this is a little bit boring, but I wanted to do this just because I want to see how long or how much UU we're making. Alright, so it takes about 50 seconds to make one UU matter. Or to make 3% on a UU matter. Now, if we go to the calculator, we have uh, well, 100 divided by 3% is 33.3. So it's going to take 33 and a third times. So we'll round that up to 34 just because. And it takes. 50 seconds, so 34 times. Oh, wait, no. First, I gotta do 100 divided by 60, and you get 1.667. So, the reason I'm doing that is because there's 60 minutes in an or 60 seconds in a minute. So, that means when I do 33 or 34 times what was it 50 you get 1700 so that's 1700 seconds so 1700 divided by 60 I guess that makes more sense so it takes 28 and a third minutes to make one UU matter so half hour we get one UU matter. It looks like. Yep, so every half hour looks like we're making UU. That's awesome because right now, I'll show you this. We got 28, 28, and 1 plus 2 right there. Once that number hits, um, once this hits 6, it's going to be making another solar panel. Yeah, a hybrid solar panel, I should say. So that's nice. So in a day, we make 48 UU matter in a day. That's awesome. All right, well, here we go. Uh, I'll start working on this just a little bit. So I had to go back to my creative map to find exactly how I did this. But I go from here. I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then I can figure out that. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's eleven. Crap, let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, plus another 10. That's 21. So I go here to plots and go to 21. Half of 21 is 12. Well, for what I'm doing. Or it's 11. I'm sorry. Not that I got. 2, 1, 1, 1. Yep, that is right. Alright, so I put that into isometric and, or 2D, sorry. And here we go, so it, it was 3, 2, 1, 1, 1. 3, 2, 1, 1, 1. 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. 3, 2, 1, 1, 1. Darn cheap. Ah, 
Gotta move my mouse's my mouse hand screwed up. Move it. Do three, two, one, 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 two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three. There we go. And that is the first layer. So this is how it's gonna look. Um, these are markers. Um, there's going to be a spawner here, or, well, there will be one up there, but this is where they're going to drop. So right there, 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 you get the idea. And then in here is going to be enchanting, enchanting, anvils, plus a light, and then uncrafting, uncrafting. And you'll know which way to go out because each of these doors, it's going to be it's going to be open. You'll know which way to go out because the uncrafting tables. So uncrafting tables on this side and on this side, and then you know that's the way to go. Plus, you should be able to see the gate. And uh, yeah, so that's how that works. So the next layer, it's the same exact thing. So easy enough. And I already messed up. How do you like that? Yeah, I don't know what it is with me. I mean, I just love domes, I guess. I mean, I built one in the vanilla. And uh, now I'm building one here. Although this one is quite a bit smaller. Which I do like. Because the other one, I still haven't finished it. I mean, that thing is just humongous. But uh, this one is actually doable. So... I actually want to turn that to hover. And next layer, we go into 23111. And by the way, when I'm saying like 23, 2, 3, 1, 1, 1. There we go. So that's what I mean by that. 3, 2. And I don't count the middle one. Um, it just can't, it would throw me off if I did. So, I don't really need to. But yeah, I'm just going to finish this up. You've seen how I'm doing this. So, it's going to take me quite a while. But once this inner dome is done, I'll come back uh, when I start decorating the inside. Because I've, I've done that as well on my creative world. So, I know exactly what it will look like. So, I'm just going to finish this um, the way it's going it's going to go up once it gets to the top layer there's going to be a 3x3 three three of glass in the center and uh, that 3x3 three 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 of glass is going to look up it sounded like thunder um, that 3x3 three three is going to look up into where the spawners are and there's going to be a hole in the middle so it'll be a 3x3 three three of glass with a hole in the center that you can fly up in just in case anything ever goes wrong and uh, each of these spawners the mobs are just gonna fall right down here um, the majority of these spawners are going to be on, on the, I don't know kind of hard to explain I'm just I'm just gonna do it and uh, once I do it I'll be back so you just wait. All right, we're back. Uh, here's what it looks like. Looking good. I actually changed this up. I'm gonna put glass. Oh, glass. Duh. That's something I'm forgetting. Let me grab that here quick. I hate doors. Oh, just grab a stack. Should be good. But I believe I have everything. I believe. I have I have everything on me that I will need. So, first let's put this glass in. Oh yes, connected textures, my favorite. Awesome. May put a border around that with some bricks or something. Now comes the fun part. Take out all this 
Should have probably did this off camera. It was just something to do. I mean, this is cool. Alright, well. And I found out something else. Um, soul shards, you can actually have animals. Um, so I'm gonna get pig, sheep, cow, mushroom. mushroom. I think. I think I know where the mushroom island is. I remember seeing one. I just I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm not really sure. I mean, I guess with that, you really don't need a mushroom farm. You have as many mushrooms as you need, ever. And, or not including slimes, because with those maze slimes from the twilight, you never need slime balls, ever, ever, ever again. Um, let me go to sleep. I'm gonna make sure I'm making do you matter as quick as possible. Alright, there we go. Let's go back here. That's done. And now comes the fun part. So, off from the center one. Let's see. How was it? It was. One, two, three, four, five. I believe that was how it was. So from the center. Oh crap. I need a uh, slow touch. Okay, how much was that? That was four, five. There we go, there's that. And then and uh, just using normal oak wood planks because they blend in with the top right there. So and the contrast in here, because not gonna make the entire floor oak wood planks is birchwood good old birch was thinking about using a cecia but i uh, just decided to go with birch the area was probably better so now also got let's see lay those down later I mean, got fences you got this unique pattern i came up with here so dun, dun, dun. that goes there that goes there Oops, we got that. And I think you guys will really like this. It's a really nice pattern to use. It's uh, fences, nether brick fence, fences, and then I'm using jungle leaves and pumpkins as a third contrast. Ooh. Oh man. I won't have enough nether brick fences. Four, five, six. Maybe I will. If it takes six per, it's only 24, yeah. I need twice as many almost regular fences, so. I did make enough. In fact, I made one too many. And. jungle leaves. And as you can see, I put it back too fancy. I, I just can't. 
hate playing on fast, but sometimes my computer says, man, you gotta play back on fast. I hate you, Origins. You think you can play fancy? You little crappy computer? My crappy laptop? <laughs> Is that what my computer says? I swear it. Alright, and then... Oh, crap. I forgot one thing. Thought I grabbed it, but... I guess I didn't. And that is pumpkins. And I got that little, like, lag run, which I hate. Need... Eight. Thank you very much. Farms have not been running, by the way. Taking a break from that project, because it was annoying me. And I didn't want to just work on that. I wanted to work on something at the moment because farms are nice but we have tons of materials we don't need the materials at the moment so oh crap gonna make these into jack-o-lanterns there we go now they get off light yeah see what I'm doing here looking good huh huh I think so. Let's grab that. And last but not least, right there. And then my special birch wood layer. So one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Boom. Boom, boom. I love this pattern I came up with. It's, I don't know. It just goes really good together, everything in here. I'm actually happy about this, but I'm glad I finally started working on this and getting this done because I finally can move out of the old base. We'll have no ties there anymore. I'm going to go tear down everything there as soon as this is done. And the rest of this, I'm going to need a lot more oak wood it looks like or oak planks but the rest of the floor all except for the middle which that needs to go that needs to go that needs to go that needs to go and that needs to go that one doesn't really need to go but it does <laughs> and um let's see Where's my lever? Did I really not bring a lever? Oh yeah, that's right. I could not find one. Because I moved them all over here. And I don't have my jetpack. See, situations like that. Kind of wish this wasn't all. Or I mean, I wish it had stairs. Give me that back. Just need one. I mean, it's a nice design and all, but without stairs, it's just sometimes it happens in situations like that, but it doesn't happen too often. And now, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry about that. Oh yeah, I was going to put bookshelves there. So that is right here, so one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. And that does not go there. Um, I do want to put that back on, though. And then I'm going to do the same exact thing for the uncrafting. Um, just for look-wise. Because it's not, not necessary. You don't need the bookshelves around it it's just I just want to make things look good so yeah look at that I'm already out of wood oh 
by the way, another thing I've actually found out is by testing, you can actually put efficiency 5. <laughs> well, you can put any of the normal. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a silk touch book and an efficiency 5 book or two efficiency 4s or something and then combine it. And then that way I'll have unlimited silk touch and unlimited, or I mean, basically it's like an efficiency 5 on top of an efficiency 4. So I'm not sure if you guys remember from vanilla, but when you had, no, stupid blank, can't you tell the difference? Um, when you had a beacon up, you would get this bonus for mining called haste, and if you had efficiency 5, it was basically like an instant mine on um, regular stone, and that's basically what a drill is like so I don't know what it's like with the beacon but oh my god I bet that would just be insane oh that's a sacy I wonder it's not going there do we have any more oh and I know we don't have any oh we do okay I forgot to check the barrel it's nearly out Alright, I'm gonna go exhaust this stack of 30. Then I'll make my logs. There, so that's all good. And this. Ah, I told you that I didn't need to go there. Do, do, do. Now, does this work? I don't remember. It does. Awesome. Okay. Well, then, there. That's what that looks like. And the four anvils. They go. Boom. 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 Lovely. I told you this build is awesome. Finish this up, and I guess I'll do, ha ha do the uh, top where the mobs actually come in, and uh, where they spawn and everything tomorrow, or probably not tomorrow, probably another day. I don't know. It it just depends when I upload. Well, I guess uploading it'll probably be a couple days, or it might be tomorrow. I don't know. I don't really have a set schedule. It's just whenever I can because my internet's upload is absolutely horrible it's something like I don't even know what it is I just know it takes for about a half hour video like this one it takes me about four to five no about five to six hours to upload so yeah I can only do it when I sleep, and that's if I sleep or if I go to bed on time, because, yeah, whatever. Uh, sometimes I like to stay up late and play, but a lot of the times it's just, it's not good. What? No, there's not supposed to be any sevens. So that's this block right here. Oh, that's why. Because you're not in the right place. did need to be there, didn't you? Oh, anvils. Sometimes you guys bother me. Maybe it was like this. Because when it's like that, yeah, then nothing is. Hmm. I don't recall it being like that though. I recall looking at every single block and maybe I got one of these off. No, jack lanterns are all right. Yeah, 
I know for a fact that wasn't like that. So. No. Did I really? <laughs> I just did that, didn't I? There we go. Oh well, I guess I'll have to live with... No, can't live with it. Can't live with it. Why is this block? Is it this block? Yeah, it's this one. So this must be the only one in here because these are all good. It's going to be the same all the way around. Wait, seven, eight, seven. So it's three blocks that aren't lit. I know what I'll do. I'll just do this. Um, that's how it looks like. That is one, two, three. One, two, three. I'm just going to put some more redstone lamps here. So let me go get those made. And then I'll call that an episode. So yeah, I think we did quite a bit today. Or at least quite a bit of what I've actually wanted to do to get out of the way. So let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. That ends the compressor. And, uh, yeah, like I said, done quite a bit today. A lot has been done. I mean, right there. Whoops. Oh, pressing the wrong buttons. Forgive me. It's been a really fun day. I mean, with that done, I can finally move out of the old base and, uh, finally finally have everything here and everything that we need so we don't ever have to go back there and uh because like we've been going back there so much just for finding things like for blazes for blaze rods for gunpowder um for xp even we're just going there constantly and uh okay this is weird the other day, I made a stack of levers, and all that stack is gone. Maybe I put it somewhere, I, I don't know. Uh, things like this happen all the time. Misplace things, put them in the wrong spot, and they're gone. Anyways, I'm going to get this done here quick. I have no idea how long this episode is, but it's long enough. Um, crap, it's night time. Don't hit me, zombie, don't hit me. Don't hit me. all planet and uh, we'll call that an episode so by the next time you guys see me um, we'll have this in and we'll probably have these built I laid out each one of these uh, 13 in a certain way and the way it is Enderman's the tallest, so Enderman goes there. It has to go up. Uh, we're not going to actually kill the Enderman because we don't want them teleporting away. So they're just going to drop, and then a deployer will pick up their stuff. I think it's a deployer. Well, anyways, they have to drop 44 plus, and uh, 
they're just gonna have to gonna have to make like a little special room for them like maybe a five by five so yeah I guess I kind of figured something out wrong when I was doing it I forgot that Enderman teleport when they hit water and uh yeah so I'll have to think about that but I'll probably have each one of these towers going up the like 20 or whatever it is um also cave spiders they only have like 16 hearts i want to say 16 or 10 i don't i don't remember but uh they have less hearts so they're when they fall um they're going to just die hopefully i hope they don't climb the walls but they we also got to make them so that would be like Enderman, that will probably be Spider, and that will probably be Blaze. I had an order, but now I'm rethinking it because things have to go a certain way. Because like Spiders, they need to actually drop. Because if they hit the wall, they just want to climb up. But actually, you know what, if I just had water, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to finish decorating the interior here but i think this is looking pretty snazzy i'm really liking this design that i made again like i said it's a dome i love domes and uh i think it's going to look good when it's all said and done so thank you for watching um and i hope you have a nice day